everything about this is a bad idea. This is Microsoft Recall. What this feature does is it's gonna record your desktop, take screenshots and recordings about every five seconds, and then you can go into a timeline and be able to go back to a point where you wanna interact something with your desktop in the past if you need to do so. You can see where this is a bad idea pretty much already from the jump. The privacy concerns are already gonna be with this immediately and just the overall total bad idea. Now, they are launching it specifically for Copilot Plus PCs. That's gonna be one of the requirements that it has here with this, which I think they're just trying to force this feature out, which they actually had in Windows 10 called Windows 10 Timeline, which pretty much died on arrival as well too, and they just got rid of the whole feature. And it looks like they're trying to force it here through here. But we're gonna read through here the data, the, or rather the uh, on the website, exactly what Microsoft is saying about the article, what they're saying about recall and this data. You can see right here, recall on your data. Windows can save screenshots of your screen, and then you can use recall. You can get you know quickly search through snapshots to find things. Save your snapshots is turned on when you first start using Windows. That's already the first flaw right there. This should be one off by default, and not only off by default. It should actually be something that you turn on as a feature within special features and programs when you go in the program files and you turn on specific features. It should be on there where you can turn this on so you actually are deliberately going through the steps of turning this type of functionality on. Now, it does say here you can turn it off at any time we go into settings, privacy and security, recall and snapshots, and you can actually turn it off and you can also pause as well too if you want to. It should not be on by default. I'm gonna reiterate that again because People that are going to buy this aren't going to know this is on by default and this is something that's running in the background. Oh, by the way, which requires about 50 gigabytes of data to be able to use and has about, I believe, 30, um, excuse me, three months worth of data. I think apparently it's going to be holding to be able to use this feature. You can probably adjust that in the later, but a lot of people are going to buy maybe some of these new Snapdragon CPUs, which we talked about earlier in another video. They're not going to know this is probably turned on by default. It's already a bad move. So. You can see, you can do a few other things here. You can filter out apps and websites from your snapshots. You can kind of pick those specifically if you want to. I do know that is going to require, I believe Chromium or Microsoft Edge to be able to do that. I know for at least at a minimum with that, in terms of like private browsing, it's not gonna record those things if you're long as you're using a Chromium based browser, but for anything else, it's not really gonna do any content filtering too much like that. So it can record anything and everything that's on your computer any sort of time. Now it is supposed to be local to your system, stay on your system and everything's happening right on your PC. And we already know with a lot of things in Windows 11 and some of the telemetry, thing, telemetry things that have been happening and the data that they're taking that I think a lot of people are not gonna trust that really specifically. It just, and, and I don't understand why this would be even a really a needed feature. I can already see from like just a business IT standpoint, what type of liability this could possibly cause. And in many ways, this is gonna wanna be off by default as some type of GPO to be able to control this in some sort of way. I, I just do not see this being a very, very good idea. I know I'm kind of repeating myself here, uh, but I just don't understand Microsoft thought with this. It's like they're trying to force a feature that they created that nobody wanted, but we wanna force it on you anyways because we feel this is a good feature. We spent all this time in development on it and they really shouldn't be wasting their time with this. But that is recall in of itself, just a general bad idea for privacy in just my biggest concern is that it's on by default. A minimum hard drive space needed is about 256 gigabytes, 50 gigabytes space must be available. Uh, it will be 20, it, a device with 250 gigabytes with, will be 25 gigabytes, which can be possibly three months of snapshots. You can increase the storage allocation for recall in your PC settings. All software will be deleted once you use your allocated storage, allowing new ones to be stored. Okay, like you're already like, if somebody gets a minimum spec Copilot PC, you're already robbing a minimum of 25 gigabytes of storage from them and possibly up to 50, depending upon what they're using in this feature, which is gonna be on by default again. I know I'm saying this again, and they're not gonna know why all their storage is disappearing because unless they really put this in your face that this is turned on when you turn on your Windows PC, which I have a feel they're not gonna be, they're not gonna know this, you're gonna start losing storage and not know why. 
Microsoft needs to think, rethink this one quite a bit. I understand where maybe, maybe some folks may want to use this, but you need to make this optional. You need to make this off by default and you need to make it so that people have to go through the steps to turn it on. At least that's what I'm, that's all I got right here. I'm just kind of just baffled. They would even just turn this on and just leave it there. I know I keep repeating myself, but share your thoughts below. <sighs> Come on, Microsoft, ridiculous.